What is up everybody? This is Nick GT50 here, back in another video on my channel. And today everybody, in my last tutorial, you guys saw that I made a tutorial on how to make um these mesh signs. So you can use these meshes, they're easier, simpler. But in this new tutorial video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make these flash. So we're gonna script them, we can do edits, and I'll show you how I make um, you know, them flash and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group this. Just for reason's sake, I'm gonna name this like um, sign flash, something like that, okay? And inside this model, I'm also gonna name this model as well. We'll name this like sign flash flash, okay? And in this model, we're gonna put a script. So we can just insert object by right clicking and we can type in script. Now, in this script, um, we can put anything. So we can do like function, on click I'm just showing you what you can do so you can do like function on click you know function on click let's say it changes the material so script dot parent sign flash dot material equals neon and then I can set it up to like when I click um, the part it'll make it neon I can do stuff like that but we're not gonna do that um, so if we want this sign to flash, it's a pretty simple script. So we can do while true do. So while this is not disabled, um, it will do this. We can also change this around. So if it's disabled, while false, do this. Okay. So while the script is disabled, it'll do something. So while true do, so while this is undisabled, make sure this is undisabled as well. Um, we'll make it script dot parent, meaning it's gonna go through the script and it's gonna go through the parent. So it's gonna recognize something in this model. And we'll do script dot parent dot sign flash dot material equals neon. We can make it any material, to be honest. We can make it, we can look, you can make it any material. Just to show you as an example, you can make it any material. I'll change it to, let's say, um, cobblestone. Okay. So we can change this instead of neon, it can be cobblestone. Okay. That's seen there. So while true do, it will change it to cobblestone. And we can set a weight after this. So what this weight does is it waits, let's say, if it says one, it's gonna wait one second and then it can do something else, okay? So we can say script.parent.sign is gonna change to cobblestone. We're gonna wait one second and let's say it can, it'll change to neon. It can wait another second. It'll change um, to, let's say, smooth plastic, okay? Okay, and then we, it'll wait, let's say 0 0.3 seconds or 0 0.5, okay? So if we test this, as seen here, you can see it's not anchored, but it's changing. You can see that it's changing the materials. It's waiting the second, it's changing all of them. Okay, we'll anchor this. Um, now we can disable this, which means when we play test, it's not going to do anything. So if we play test it right now, you're going to see that the sign's not going to do anything. Okay. And how we can make this sign or this script inside the sign turn on is with a button. Um, this button, we can have it two ways. So it can, you know, set up and basically when you press it once, it'll turn on, off, stuff like that. Okay. So. Okay, so what we can do is pretty simple. We're gonna insert something called a bool value. Um, this bool value, we can insert the object and we can type in bool value. This is basically like a, a value that just takes place. I'll show you what we can do with this, okay? So all we're gonna type is local bool equals script dot parent dot value dot value, okay? Now it's gonna go into the script dot parent dot value it's going to recognize the value and it's going to toggle this back and forth okay um and we're going to do function 
on click, okay? So function on click, if bool equals false, then bool equals true, it'll go into workspace, that sign, it'll go into this model, um, it'll find the script, dot disabled, and that'll make it false, so it won't be disabled. All right, so, and else, rule equals false. It'll go into the same thing, okay? And instead of disabled equals false, it's gonna be disabled equals true, okay? And it'll have two ends to it. So make sure you have this bool value in this part right here. This part needs to have the bool value. Don't change the name of it and just follow this. Now we need um, a click detector to recognize that we're clicking it. So we're gonna insert a click detector. My bad folks, so it'll be script.parent.clickdetector. So it'll be script.parent.clickdetector. Okay, like that. So make sure you have that typed. All right, sorry, my voice just died there. Dot mouse click, connect, on, click. Okay. Like that. All right. So now if we go into the game. As you can see, it is doing that. If we click it again, it stopped it. See? So that is how we script our signs. So if you have any questions, make sure to put it down in the comments below. I'm NickGT50 and thank you for watching my tutorial video. See you guys.